Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would go through my skincare routine with you guys. Here is some of the products I use on my face. Um, I grabbed this from the bathroom. So I thought I would, you know, just show you guys what I use in the morning. I'm still in my bathrobe. I am still in my pajamas. I am just trying to start the day. So I have, first of all, two cleansing sticks right here. This is Yes to Yes to Coconut. This is the Ultra Drying, Ultra Hydrating, sorry. Um, energizing coffee two-in-one scrub and cleanser stick I use this one in the morning and then I have this yes to yes tomatoes clear skin detoxifying charcoal two-in-one scrub and stick and I use this at night this helps a lot to take off my makeup so and that's what it looks like um, when you put them on your face they get dark and then you want to rub them in so detox at night and hydrate in the morning so just a word of advice. So the next thing I do is I always tone my skin. So I'm just gonna grab a cotton swab and I'm gonna grab my toner and this is the Neutrogena Pore Refining Toner. But any toner will work. I just happen to have this one. This is the one that I have. So I'm just gonna put that on a cotton swab and put that on my face. I wish toners didn't sting though. <laughs> That's the only thing. It would be wonderful. So see, even with like me clean my face, you can still see a little bit of like residue still on it. So, and there is that. And the next thing I always start out with next is I use some type of vitamin C, either in an oil or in a cleanser. Um, so for right now, I have the M Skin. Vime C Brightening Booster. And this is really good because if you look at my face closely, you see all these little like dark spots I have. I have them everywhere. I said before, I am 41 years old and I like to sit outside in the sun. I have an in-ground swimming pool and I spend most of my summers outside. Even if I do use sunscreen, I still get dark spots. So I'm gonna fill it up and it's just a clear liquid. But a word of advice, if you do use this, I try not to use this. Um, I'll use this at night and not in the morning. Um, in the summer because it will like, um, it will burn your skin. The sun touches it and it's not good. So there's that. And the next thing I always um, use next is I always try to get some hyaluronic Hyaluronic acid. Um, this is 97%. Um, this is a Korean brand. And it doesn't matter what kind you use, just make sure it's mostly, you know, the percent is high up there. And it's a very thick um, serum. This really helps to hydrate your face, to help with those fine lines and wrinkles. And it's very like sticky. I'm gonna rub that and put that on my face. I'm gonna give this a couple minutes to absorb. So a lot of these steps I do at night. I always use this at night. I use that one cleanser stick. I don't use this at night. I'll go through from night and day what's the difference I do use. So, and then next I have this um, snail repair intensive um, serum, and that's what it looks like. Or you guys can get it, and there's also like a gel too, if you either one is good. Um, this is just a secretion that snails make. I know it sounds pretty disgusting, but it works very well. So I am going to put that on my skin. I'm almost out, so I've got to get some more. And this is very sticky like the other stuff. Put that together. And put that on. And I give that a chance to dry down too. I'm 
I just keep rubbing it in, rubbing it in until it's all in the face. I wish in my 20s that I took better care of my skin than I, I did. Oh my gosh, now I'm paying for it. Even in my 30s, I wasn't the best at doing it. So, and then next, I always try to use some type of concentrate for your eyes, for like your bags. And like, I have crow's feet right here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but I have them on both. So this is the Clarins one that I have. Um, it works really good. It's just like a little moisturizer. So I dab that under my eyes. And really try to get into those crow's feet. See, if I didn't do this, I have really, really, really dry, 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 dry skin. So that's why you guys always see me put the argan oil in my foundation because if I don't, my makeup would be gone in an hour. Even with the argan oil and a really good primer, I might get four hours out of my foundation. It's just my skin and how it goes. I'm sorry about you guys hearing the phone in the background. It's going crazy and I don't know who it is. So... So this and the snail stuff I would put on again at night. So either or. So and then I always in this I would put again on at night too to help with the eyes. And then I have two moisturizers. I have this daily moisturizer cream. Um, this has dead minerals, dead sea minerals in it. And I got this off of Amazon. It was not expensive at all. And then I have that LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream. So I have this too. So I'm gonna use this one today and not the other one. So another thing I do too is like I'm when I take a bath at night, I always use a, uh, a sheet mask all the time, almost every day. And I also use a scrub, you know, one of those scrubs that has like those little tiny beads to really, you know, massage into my skin. So I also do that anytime I take a bath. So it could be in the afternoon, it could be at night. It just, it just depends on what I want to do on it. So I'm gonna rub this in. I wait at least probably 20 to 20 minutes to a half an hour before I will put any makeup on my face because I really want this to absorb into my skin. So, and that is it. I also do have like, I have SPS 50 um, sunscreen. Always use the sunscreen in the summertime. I can't say that enough. I, let's see, for micellar water, I use this Neutrogena Clean, and I think that's about it. I do have to repurchase some more products. Other thing I do love, too, and once this really melts in the school and right before I do my makeup, I always use this Needles No More, no more Baggage from Dr. Brandt. It helps with the swollenness of under your eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful and a magical day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.